All right, we're looking at a diamond ZDZ. What's going on with this? We are observing from the Blue Zerg's perspective, Siamon versus Cyclops. Oh yeah. Got that caster introduction, big dicks, sweet. All right, so let's speed this up. We're going 17 hatch. Okay, but so is our opponent, so we're Gucci. Normally, um, in ZVZ and ZVP, you do a 16 hatch. It's just a little bit safer, but it doesn't really matter. If you can get away with a 17 hatch, it's technically more economical. Seventeen pool, seventeen gas, deadly. We can rally these two drones into the gas geyser, or we can just pull three. By rallying the drones into the gas, it saves you just a little bit of uh, more mining time, so you can get a bit more money out. All right, let's check our overlord positioning. Where is this one going to? Okay, it's queued right there. I'm going to pause it right here. I don't overly love this overlord positioning. So in ZVZ, I mean, this is a little bit of a weird map, but... In ZVZ, we always want our first Overlord to literally go in here, peek just to see the presence of creep or, you know, an expansion being built, and then it backs the fuck up. Don't even worry about the pervert pillar in ZVZ because it's just going to get sniped. So we can just back it up out here a little bit. And then our second Overlord wants to be somewhere like right here. We always want to have the first three Overlords. So the first two we make and the one we spawn with, they need to be kind of in a line of the most direct rush path. That way we have vision of anything coming across the map as fast as humanly possible. Uh, ZVZ is played on a knife's edge, especially in the early game with the Ling Bane phase. So we really need to be aware of what's coming, when it's coming, and how much is coming. So by having this Overlord over here, it's accomplishing the same thing as here. So all we're going to see is Lings move out, but what if they just move out here, but they don't actually come, they fuck off up here and start breaking the rocks. And then all of a sudden we pump out a huge round of lings and nothing's coming. And now we're behind on drones. So it just like weird situations like that, it's just always best to have our overlords, the first three in a line. So normally it'd be like one, two, and then like three. Okay, ling speed's done. Let's change the rally points on our hatchery. Or sorry, yeah. Let's change the rally points in our hatchery. Ling speed started. Um, Queens. Meanwhile, our opponent. Oh, sorry. He's down a couple drones. He actually pulled off gas. That's really, really weird. You don't do that in ZVZ. Um, other matchups, absolutely. But in ZVZ, you always stay on gas. So he's really trying to irk out some minerals. Nor does he even have link speed started. Oh, he's going direct to roaches. Okay. Okay. So I love the idea. We take our third at the gold, but it's a bit ambitious, especially in ZVZ. It's that's a bit risky. Um, the third base in ZVZ, if you can saturate it right away, awesome. But it's unlikely for the most part uh, in ZVZ. Your third base, when it goes down, it's kind of used as just an extra production facility for a little while until we can slowly start to eke out some drones. Um, so having it up here, I mean, we you could take a huge advantage from it, but it's a big gamble gamble. I don't know if I really like that. So yeah, this Overlord's going to get picked away for free in a second here. But we do have good vision. So we see our opponent immediately going for a Roach Warren. Now, I want you to understand that just because you see the presence of a Roach Warren does not mean he's going straight for a Roach-based anything. Um, for P like for players that play two-base Mutalisk, they will purposely put a Roach Warren down, and they might even make a Roach or two to try and sell it a bit more, but oftentimes they just make the Roach Warren and they make it somewhere in the wall so you can see it. Um, and that's just to try and sell the fact that they're going super early layer, which this dude is. But again, he pulled off gas, so if he's going mutas or roaches, this is really weird. Um, but yeah, just seeing a roach warren is not enough. You might want to dip in. Double check that they're not two base. Oh, I'm so sorry. Two base muta. Okay, 
So we're going for an Evo Chamber. Metamorphosis. Going for a Roach Warren of our own. Okay. So we also pulled off gas. Why did we pull off gas? Like I know we just put one back in, but not in ZVZ, brother. Not in ZVZ. Um, as well as this Roach Warren and this Evo Chamber. Try and build them down here, because they can be used as a wall, so that we can put a queen in, just like a Protoss player would, and we can prevent anything from flooding in. Okay, so I'd like to see two more Gas Geysers going down, um, for like super constant, continuous Roach production. Three Gases is ideal. Yeah, so that Overlord's dead. There we go. Okay, we're going for four gases. Four gases is fine. You don't really need it, but... So, boom. We have the Spire going up from our opponent. This is a pretty dead giveaway to me. If I saw this kind of wall with double Evos and double Spines and absolutely no third, which we have vision of... Uh, yeah, we do. We have vision no third anywhere. Um... It's going to be one of two things in my mind. It's either going to be a Roach Queen Nidus, or it's going to be two base Muta. It's going to be one or the other. So what we need to do, since we don't have Overlord speed, but we do have a layer, we need to morph an Overseer, and we need to sack it along with a Changeling and just get Vision. We absolutely need to know what's going on. If you're going to make a gold base, transfer drones from here. That way we can actually utilize it immediately. So this dude skipped literally every upgrade. He's now just getting wing speed because he wanted to get a Spire as soon as possible, but he pulled off gas. So now he doesn't even have a massive gas bank. Like he literally can make, he's got eight mutas, but this is just weird. Okay, so let's just pause for a second. We have eight roaches. Now, there's a weird interaction with Muta players. If you can get it early enough, let's say we do one more big round of roaches, especially with our larvae injects that pop. Um, even though the mutalisks, like roaches can't shoot up to attack the mutas, they're also pretty tanky. Mutas don't do a ton of damage to roaches in low numbers. So you can actually just walk across the map and just snipe hatcheries. Um, you kind of do that as a desperation play to buy yourself time so you can get out hydras and spores and yada 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 yada. But you'd be surprised at how much damage you can actually get done, and you're forcing the mutas to stay back at home to try and deal with the roaches. Your brute has to prove it. Okay, so mutas Your are coming in, we have vision. Attack. I mean, we're going to lose a few drones. That's okay. Okay, good. We stopped the lanes. Oh, we're going to lose all these overlords. We have overlord speed, too, so we just got to move them. Okay, so we're on a solid drone count right now. 50 drones is deadly. So we can pretty much, because considering we know our opponent's just taking a third now, we can pause droning, and especially because we have this gold base. So we don't need to worry about that too much. All we need to do is get a... We can even put down... We have enough money to afford, like, two spores per base. Now, that one's getting three, but this one only has one. This one we, uh, we got cancelled. Never mind. This one doesn't even have a spore. Okay, these roaches... Oh, my God. How long are we going to take for those roaches to attack? Okay, so... These roaches are on a move command, not an attack command. And they're trying to move across the map, but the lings are attacking them. We just lost 11 roaches because they were on a move command. Come on, man! No, 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 no. What were we looking at while that was happening? Because that sucked. Yeah, we're trying to... They're not on A-move. They're just on move command. 
Oh no! Oh no no no! Our forces are under attack. Oh, that's painful, man. Okay, well. Okay, again. So one of the biggest, like advantages you have to being the ground player versus the mutalisk player um mutalisks are incredible for harassment but they're shit for combat they're just they're they're kind of weird um they're they're like banelings in a sense where if you get enough of them it just doesn't fucking matter it seems like if you can get like honestly if you lose a bunch of workers you can get up to like 80 mutalisks they can just dominate almost anything but i mean that's an unrealistic scenario um but like in small and even medium numbers like 20 30 mutas They'll do good damage, but they're just shit combat units. They're so frail. Um, so being the ground player, we're kind of contained. We we have to give up the map. They'll have map presence for a little while. And we just have to turtle up on like three bases that we have. The number one tech we need to get, though, is lurkers. Because when they see this mass amount of hydralisks versus their mutalisks, they're just going to go Ling Bane, and Banelings dominate hydralisks. But lurkers will delete Banelings before they even get close. Now, there's another way you can do it too, um, the more advanced way, and it's it's definitely like a solid way to play it, is investors, because fungal will slow down Banelings quite fast, and then your hydralisks can pick them off. Um, as well as fungal just ruins the day for mutalisks because they're not going anywhere and the damage is pretty good. Um, parasitic bomb from vipers also ruins mutalisks. You could have a player who has a hundred mutalisks and if you have like two or three infestors and a couple vipers and you can just fungal them all at once and get like one or two parasitic bombs off, they're, they're just gone. They just pop. Um, so those are like two really hard counters, but ultimately hydralisks, especially with upgrades, will beat mutalisks. You just need the lurkers for ground support so that the lings and banes can't come in and delete you. Um, let's look. Do we have our hydra upgrades? So we don't. So we definitely need to get our hydra upgrades. All right, let's let this play out here. Okay, so we're getting some, you know, we got a little bit of counter attack damage done there. Mineral field. So how many drones do we have? Okay, we're on 53. I mean, obviously we'd like to be higher, but we have to be careful within reason. We're still ahead of our opponent, because we just, as you were attacking there, you saw that there was absolutely no workers there. So we know that our opponent's on two base saturation, and we have a gold base that he still doesn't know about. So we have to be a little bit cautious. So if we look at the army supply, we're down. Right? He's got 10 Mutalisks and 46 Lings. We only have 10 Hydralisks. So we do have to get some army out. But we are supply blocked. Uh, we have four Overlords coming. We finally have some Hydra upgrades going. We have our Carapace, which is really, really good. That'll help with the Banelings. We just need Lurkers. Okay. There we go. Lurker Den's coming. Okay, so let's take a look at what our opponent's doing here. So, very sloppy. He's missed a bunch of injects on this queen. Uh, this one seems to be good. He's got his 1 1 for ground going. This one's a little bit sloppy. Lots of injects missed. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. He's got 10 more drones, 10 more links in production. Meanwhile, 37, 39 to 47. The losses are definitely on our side, but that's okay. It's all from those roaches that we had on move command. Um, we're looking good. Like, we're in a decent position. We just need more army. Like, we, we're just... Like, yeah, we're ahead. We have 23 Hydras. That's awesome. But pure Hydralisk will not be pure Lingbane. Yeah, we're about to donate a bunch of Hydralisks to Goodwill here. That sucks. And now, oh, so we don't have Hydralisk range. Is it on the way? No, it looks like we skipped Hydralisk range. That's that's a big no-no. That's a very, very important upgrade. We have everything we need. We just need to make more army. Our opponent's banking like crazy. How are our injects looking? Um, 
I mean, that's injected. That's injected. We don't have a queen over here yet. Okay, we're making a lot of queens. I don't hate it, but... All right. We're still in... I mean, uh, it's hard to say we're ahead, but we're in a solid position. The only reason I, I'm hesitant to say we're ahead is because of the losses we've taken. But, I mean, we're still... We're still completely in this game. By no means are we down and out. Okay, so we have two lurkers. I'd like to see you go up. I mean, I don't know the exact number, but I'd like to see you go up to like probably five or six because they'll just delete all the penguins coming your way. Um, it'd be really, really nice to be going up to a hive now so that we can get vipers. Vipers are... The late game for ZVZ, doesn't matter how you started out for the most part, the late game of ZBZ is going to be Hydra Lurker Viper. That's that's just how it is. That's the be all end all final army comp. You know, you're not going to see Broodlords, you're not going to see Ultralisks or anything like that. Oh. Okay, good Lurkers. So. Again, we're still in this. If we look at the income graph, like, we're still ahead. Oh, now we're not. Now we're going to take some big losses here. Our lurkers are out of position. Oh, no, no, bro, 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 bro! Mineral oh, just back up the hydralisks. Okay. Not the cleanest of fights, but we managed to clean that up. Not the cleanest. Oh, ah, 29 hydralisks. We still, okay, we do have hydralisk range. All right, deadly. Do we have a hive on the way? Do we even have an infestation pit? We do. Let's get the hive! The hive! All right, so we have five lurkers. That's solid. Oh no, my god. Okay, so he has 26 mutalisks. And if we look at the upgrades, he has no upgrades. He's going so heavy into mutalisks. And yet he's like, but fuck it, I don't need upgrades for him. That's, oh, it's so dumb. But when you see this amount of mutalisks, you have to start thinking, okay, I need I need a better tech. Pure Hydralisk still can beat this, but is he going to let you take a direct fight with his mutalisks? This guy might, because he's quite bad. But I want you thinking about the better players, right? If someone has 30 mutalisks or something, and you have pure Hydralisk, they're just going to dart around you. Wherever your Hydralisks are, they're going to be somewhere else. They're going to be constantly harassing your mineral line, and they'll just beat you by death by a thousand cuts. Um, but when we see this many mutalisks, we have to start thinking about tech. Fungal would be my absolute go-to right now. We can get, we don't even need pathogen glands, but it'd be very nice to get. And then we can just get like, honestly, three or four investors. We could even meme and use microbial shroud, but realistically, we just need fungal. Because with fungal, they're not getting away. And then our hydralisks can just clean them up. Okay, so this is going to get some real damage done. We have a decent spread on the Lurkers. He's got plus two Carapace, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, oh, oh, no Hydra splits. Oh, no, 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 no. We were even looking. Oh, okay. I'm going to back this up and we're going to... We're going to show you in real time what we could have done better. Okay, so again, we have a decent lurker spread here so that we're covered from a lot of different angles. Slow it right down. Okay, so income, 32 banelings. From your vision, we see the banelings coming. All we need to do is box some hydralisks move, box, move, box, move, and just pretend they're marines and split them up a bit. We just don't want to give them one big target to clump up and attack. We want to split up as much as we can so that the lurkers have time to do as much damage as possible. While, even if we, you know, the lurkers do end up killing all the excess banes, if we lose all the hydralists, the mutalists will just clean it up anyway, so it doesn't matter. So yeah, we, we just, oh, there was just no attempt. Okay, 
Okay. So losses, I mean, he's playing with Ling Bane Muta, and it, it's not always the most efficient if you don't get the best trades, but he's been getting a lot of good trades. We're still way ahead on drones, but if you look at the army supply, no, we're actually still ahead. What do we have? 24 Ling, 17 Hydralisks, 17 Mutas. Okay, we finally, at 14 minutes, we're starting up our lair. Or, yeah, our hive, sorry. Um, again, I really would love to see some Infestors. Infestors would ruin the day for these Mutalisks, for these Banelings, for everything. Bungle is deadly. Okay, so we got some wicked counterattack damage going on here. But so does he. Okay, we at least pull the drones. Not sure what those lings are doing. Okay, so we are in we're in a really good economic position. Like our opponent has 39 drones to our 58. At this point, all we have to do is pump out a shit ton of units and just move across the map and we should win. Like our opponent's not producing anything. Look at his bank. And he's now he's getting upgrades. He hasn't been producing a unit for the last like minute and a half. Oh, there we go. 24 lanes queued up. Oh, fuck. So, let's just pause right here. We're at 15 minutes, 30 seconds. Where are we at in the game? We have a hive. So does our opponent, but tech-wise, he's got 2-2 two, two, uh, melee and carapace. We have 2-2 two, two ranged and carapace. We've got lurker tech. We've got hydralisks. We've got more drones. We've got more everything. All we need to do at this point in time Let's make a few more lurkers so that we can de deal with the Ling Bane. We just need to move across the map and continue pressure. If our Hydralists clump up one more time, though, and we get that big old Bane hit, it's, it's not going to look too pretty for us. Okay, so we have a good chunk of lurkers. Oh, we move out just as he moves in. Okay, so let's slow this down. Okay, let's burrow these lurkers. Burrow, burrow, burrow. Okay, so where is he likely to come in from? Right here. Where are burrows? Lurkers, sorry. They're behind our hydralisks. We always kind of want our hydralisks to be behind the lurkers. Um, so that whenever the Ling Bane does come in, the Lurkers start attacking them immediately. Because by the time the Ling Bane gets to our Hydralists, they're going to be able to kill a big chunk of these before the Lurkers even fire their first Spine Shot. Mineral field okay, so we've done a lot of damage here. Oh my god, no, no, no! I already know what's going to happen. Where are our lurkers? This is why we made them! <laughs> Dude! He's got roaches out now, too. Not that they have upgrades, but... He's got 3-3 three, three and Adrenal. So yeah, these lings are just going to ruin the day for these Hydralisks. We have the game in the bag. But we got cocky. And we moved our Hydralisks all at once. All clumped up. When we knew our opponent was getting ready to attack, and we moved them so far away from the lurkers that the bays just came in and cleaned it up. And we're just, we're not going to be able to produce a well enough army to deal with this in time. We're going to take critical losses here. It's game. I'm just going to change my headset battery while this plays out. I'll leave it on your point of view, but.
Game. Like your opponent's on 26 drones. Sucks, you hate to see it. Um, biggest takeaways, we absolutely need to start using spellcasters. I know it's scary, I know it sucks, but it'll definitely help out. We really need to just I it takes a while, but we have to kind of get get our mindset to where we know where we're at in a game. There was lots of times where we could have just moved across the map and won that game. Um, as well as we need to be smarter with our micro. We just, we lost the game quite literally when we moved all of our hydralisks away from our lurkers and the banelings just came down and cleaned them all up. Sucks, I know. But otherwise, I mean, for the first 15 minutes, you were dealing with it really, really well. And you know, it's only diamond, so you're absolutely getting better. Good luck, have fun. I hope this helped a little bit. And you know, we'll see you in the next one. Take care.